Graham Simmons has found a man who knows how to beat them and he reckons Lancaster's men can do just that on Saturday afternoon. The Dukes of Hamilton have led rich and varied lives. One killed in a duel, one cuckolded by Horatio Nelson and one who climbed Vesuvius 22 times, don't ask. None, though, was wedged by his roommate ahead of his test debut against the All Blacks. That dubious distinction belongs to Kieran Bracken. Bristol had just knocked out Leicester from the cup. I'd scored the winning try. I get to the hotel, I'm rooming with Dean Richards. Dean Richards doesn't turn up to the team meeting. He turns up at one o'clock in the morning, having had a few drinks. He comes in and wakes me up with the almighty wedgie that made me cry. Um, still makes you cry? And that's the, when I think about it, yes. And um, sort of then keeled over and said, that'll learn you. Well, once he got his head out of his wife runs, it was quite a debut. Famously, an England win, only the fourth ever against the All Blacks. And infamously, a hero's cameo after being trampled underfoot in the opening minutes by the dastardly Jamie Joseph. As cheap shots go, it was a bargain. Ball had gone, and as I was getting up, stamped on my ankle, twisted it and caught me a pommy, whatever, and um, carried on. I sort of partially dislodged my ankle, dislocated it, and went back in. And I was in a lot of pain. The only thing that stopped me coming off was was Matt Dawson was on the bench. I didn't want him to get his calf. There's just no way that was happening. In all, KB and the ABs met four times, and KB only lost once. An enviable record. And what sticks in his mind now, certainly from his debut, was going eyeball to eyeball with the Harker. I remember when I looked across and I saw, I saw them coming, uh, and I was near the middle, coming towards me, oh, come on, and their eyes are bulging. And I thought to myself, aren't I supposed to be the opposite, the guy I'm playing against? I was against Stu Forster, who's like four foot, and I was looking at him, he's massive, he's six foot six. Foot. I'm against the little one over there, mate, don't do it to me. No question, the most memorable black and white minstrel show came at Old Trafford in 1997. One heck of a match for anyone who remembers it, but a game that's since passed into legend for the hooker harker. Frankly, you could have cracked an egg on either of their heads and fried it in five seconds flat. That was just Richard doing his thing. Richard thinking, right, I'm going to show you. And it, I, I, I think when we were in line together, so I felt myself going forward, I was like, hey, what's going on here? It's a little bit like that. No one told me, and I was like, okay, well, I'll go up with you. And he was getting forward and forward and forward. And I think that probably put us in a good mindset for the game. You know, we're not taking a backward step. Certainly, there were absolutely no backward steps in the rematch a fortnight later at Twickenham. England out of the blocks on the B of the bang, and within a whisker of another famous win. A score draw in the end and a clear blueprint for the class of 2012. It's absolutely the key to it. If you look at the, the, you know, the history of the All Blacks, of when they've lost and how they've lost, all the circumstances are quite similar. You basically get into them really early, hard, and um, you throw them off their game. I mean, the breakdown's absolutely crucial. You get, get to the breakdown, you steal the balls, and you just they're used to getting their own way. That's what happens. And when they don't get their own way, things all spiral down. England haven't beaten New Zealand now since 2003, when the so-called... White orcs on steroids swooped into a wet, windswept Middle Earth. The twin bin, the six pack, and Johnny Be Good. Could it just, could it just be England's turn again? I think we've got a great opportunity to prove the Twi Twickenham crowd wrong. Look, when I first played in 1993, no one gave us a chance. No one gave us a chance. They'd just beaten um, Scotland by 50 points. And if I was a betting man, you know, I would never have put tenor on England to beat New Zealand my first cap. No way. No way. So I think it's not a bad bet. Whatever the results this weekend, the white team and the black team is always a game to savour. Perhaps it's the game to savour. Certainly, there is little in rugby that beats beating an all black. And Kieran Bracken should know. They're normally the best in the world whenever you play them. They're normally the ranked the best, number one, and we've all grown up with the All Blacks watching the hacker and the, the mystery behind them and the sort of pride that they have on their shirt. And, um, and so, yeah, by far the, the one match that every English player wants to play in is, is against the All Blacks.